Good morning, this is Sherwood Tucker with American Ag Marketing and Trading Company from downtown Chicago on this Wednesday, November the 13th. And getting out to the markets here after the uh, break and before the day session opens at 8.30 Chicago time. We had December corn overnight up one and a half at 4.33 and three quarters with the March up one cent at 4.45 even so far. We have the November beans down seven and a quarter at 13.12 even and January down about five and three quarters at 13.08 and three quarters on some profit taking it looks like there. December Chicago wheat up two and three quarters 6.48 with the March wheat up two and a quarter at 6.58 even. December Kansas City at 7.05 half up two and a quarter with the March Kansas City up two cents even at 7.06. We have the um, December Minneapolis wheat up one and a quarter at 7.02 half with the March Minneapolis unchanged at 7.12 half. December uh, meal 42460 down 310 with the December bean oil up 10 at 4085. January rice 1550 and a half down two and a half so far. November feeders overnight down 22 at 164.42 with the January unchanged now down two at 164.17. December fats down 27, 132.40 and the Feb fats down 30 at 133.97. December hogs down 42 continues to trade lower, 86.77 with the February down 32 at uh, 91.02. December Dow Jones futures selling off here this morning down 85 at 15.625. December S and P down about eight and uh, three quarters. Have December gold rebounding a little bit off the yes after yesterday's sell off at uh, 12.74.40 up about three dollars. And December silver continues to decline down about nine cents at uh, 2069 now. We have the um, December copper at 316 down on the day, and the uh, December dollar index uh, down a little bit, but uh, still above 80 cents, actually 81.12. December crude rebounding after yesterday's big sell off of over $2 at 93.62 here, up about 57 cents. December bonds up nine ticks, 131.25. December cotton up 39, 78.27, and the March cotton up 2, 78.24. March cocoa, uh, 26.38, up 16, and December coffee down a little bit at 105.10, with March sugar down 4 at 17.83. Just a couple quick notes. Uh, beans were down basically overnight on profit taking is what we're hearing, and harvest was reported at 91%, which is uh, just slightly behind the uh, five-year average and where they should be after this time of year. Um, in the corn, it looks like some fun short covering. There's massive uh, short position in corn, and also the uh, index funds have to get rolled out. So could be looking at some volatility due to that. And um, also the, looking at the carryout, the trade's going to start di digesting the number at 1.9 on the carryout after the trade was expecting 2.2 to 2.5. So it'll be interesting to see how they price that into the markets as uh, time goes on here. And uh, the trade's expecting an announcement from the EPA on the ethanol mandate any day now, so we'll uh, get that news to you as it comes out, if you don't hear it already before you hear it from us. And uh, crude oil is basically the news, still the same from yesterday. The uh, U.S. stockpiles continue to grow. Libya is coming back online as far as production and uh, exports. And uh, the U.S. is expected to be the number one oil producer ahead of Russia and Saudi Arabia by 2015. So that's uh, weighing on that market, it looks like, pretty heavily. And... Analysts are, some analysts out there are putting a price target of about $70 a barrel over the next 12 months. Uh, that's about it for this morning's quotes and uh, comments. If you have any questions, give us a call directly, 800-207-2174, or uh, feel free to visit our website, www.americanagmarketing.com. This is Sherwood Tucker. Have a great morning, and I'll be back to you later on this afternoon. Thank you.